Okay, good. All right, guys. Well, today we are going to be talking about uh, successful sales emails. Uh, we're going to give away, uh, I believe it's six uh, free templates uh, for prospecting. And we're going to go through uh, basically what, what makes a good email going out and uh, the way that we suggest that you do it. Um, <clears throat> so, excuse me, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to basically be going through different types of the, the sales emails that are we're covering. Uh, today's VIP webinar, we're going to be talking about prospecting emails. Okay, um, And like I said, we've got some templates that we're going to give you a link to to download. Uh, next Thursday, we're going to be going through, for pro members, we're going through other emails with networking emails, uh, inbound lead emails, referral emails, uh, scheduling a meeting email, and also follow-ups, a whole series uh, with templates uh, for to be given out. So if, uh, if you're on the webinar and you're a pro member, you'll, you'll get notified about the, the uh, uh, pro member webinar next Thursday. Uh, if you're not a pro member, sign up and, uh, and, and join us. I think it'll be really good. Uh, the emails that we've, we've put together, uh, I think that you'll really uh, get good use out of them. Um, so getting started, you know, what, what kind of uh, qualities does a successful sales email have? And remember, we're going to be focusing on all the different types, but for this one, it's about prospecting. But two of the things that you want to really keep is, you know, does it have a human quality and does it have a competitive quality? You know, these, it's really necessary, you know, with all the spam that people get, we're not looking, when we send, we're talking about sending out an email, we're not talking about spamming, okay? We want these emails to really have, uh, uh, you know, full personality, authenticity, sincerity, and trustworthiness. So, you know, what does that in, in, entail? Personality, we're talking about making an email that is, uh, that is focused on, uh, you know, basically on the prospect, and also uh, it's not just some boring email that's sent out that's being ignored, okay? A, a lot of, you know, we all get emails every day that are really, you know, uh, you know really spammy and very generic. Uh, one of the things, if you want to get uh, the, the email just opened, is you've got to have that, that personality on, in, the, in the opener to get them to read it. And you need to make it so that it's, it's fun to read, okay? Um, we, we want to come from a, a place of authenticity that it, it, it really reflects who we are as a company and what we're trying to do to get away, you know, to get uh, their attention. Um, and to know it's not just something that, that is just being sent out blindly. Um, obviously, sincerity is very big, uh, and it kind of goes along with uh, setting the tone with trustworthiness. Um, if, if, you know, if it's a genuine type of prospecting email where you actually come across that you do care and, um, and that you're going to you know, really work for and work with a potential client, it gets noticed. Okay, I mean this is very important when it comes to writing uh, the email and, and how they're done. Um, so when it comes down to what are the competitive qualities, we want the email to be informative, insightful, it should demonstrate your expertise and also demonstrate authority within your niche. Okay, um, being informative in the, in the email is, is obviously being able to give the reader Something that they, you know, maybe it's an update on what's happening with Google. Um, it, it's something that affects their business. Uh, maybe it's, you know, I mean, you can think of all the different things that happen out there with changes with like uh, AdWords or, uh, you know, a Panda uh, update or anything like that. This is, you know, important for people, even if they don't know it. It's it it also will show that. Um, that you're giving insight into their business and how it does affect them, okay? Um, that is, if you are able to put this into your email, uh, it will really help with a response rate. We also want to demonstrate our expertise, that, we, that you've been in the business, that you know what you're talking about, um, and that you have, uh, uh, you're an expert in the field, okay? And any, anybody who's uh, basically with our uh, a sales partner with virtual group, 
you are backed up by all, our entire team where you can reach out to us. And if there's something that you don't understand, we definitely have uh, a, consul a consultant that can help you or a, a definitely a webinar, a recording that could help you in, in training you. Um, so don't ever hesitate to, to reach out for that sort of thing. Also, we want to make sure that we demonstrate authority, that you're, you're, not, um, you're not begging for their business, you're not spamming them, that these type of emails that we're talking about sending out um, are very personalized. Okay? So, um, you know, what does a successful sales email bring, in, bring into effect to the reader? Attention, curiosity, interest, some sort of connection, okay? Uh, working on the comprehension of different issues. Uh, we obviously want to throw a sense of urgency and scarcity into the email if possible. Um, the fear of losing an opportunity, the fear of missing out is a huge motivator, okay? Especially if it talks about the competition, right? I mean, you know, if you turn one lead into 50 was a really great uh, uh, strategy and is one, and that's part of that fear of missing out. Okay, and also bring them into action. So, <clears throat> when when you go into building your uh, your email and the templates that we're giving you are templates, you can definitely and we encourage you to make them your own. Um, the uh, uh, but basically it goes through an introduction. You're presenting the problem. You're making it the agitation part is basically you're you're bringing the uh, the the problem to their doorstep, okay, and also presenting the solution, which would be your services, and then a call to action. So, you know, when you look at um, building this prospecting, the prospecting email, we're going to talk about uh, the subject line. We're going to talk about salutation, um, you know, a dear uh, business owner or however. Also, the headline, uh, the body, and the call to action the closing and the postscript, the PS part. So we're going to kind of go into detail on those uh, one by one, uh, you know, as we go through this. So on, a, on your subject line, this is really important. You know, uh, if you are including uh, the company name or the first person of the recipient in the subject line, according to MailChimp, this brings up the open rates to 60 to 87%. And you know that's that's big, okay? Um, if you have you know if, if you actually take the time uh, to put the emails together where you've done the research and you actually have the first name of the recipient, this is it's it's good. Um, also, either just the company name as well. But I think the first name of the recipient can get a better open rate than even the company name. Um, if you keep the subject line short, if you ask a question, if you can create a little bit of intrigue with your subject line and being straightforward, um, short and direct, you know, about your email is going to make it interesting. They're going to be opened. Okay. Um, one of the biggest things that you can do is have a really great uh, subject line. Um, here are a couple of examples that 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 we've seen used, you know, um, by the way, I want to tell you, if you keep what's called a swipe file, if you use on your email folder uh, that you have, when you get a great email in that you opened that's, that was sent to you, that caught your interest or your eye, you don't take that email and save it into a folder like I have one called the swipe file. You put that in there. And then later on, when you're needing a, an idea on some on on a, a great email, you can um, uh, you can take that and make it your own. You know, I've I've seen emails that have come in, you know, that are selling products or services or whatever, and I thought, wow, that is a, such a great email because uh, I was very intrigued by it, so I saved it. Um, build your swipe file. You never know when something comes up and you need you know you need something good idea. It's really a, a, a great resource. Um, so here's some examples. You know, if you had your company name, what is your, you know, Jonathan, what's your marketing recipe? Jonathan, your rankings are falling. Uh, you know, maybe it's the company name and SEO consultation. I would be careful. Um, it depends on 
if, if on how you write the email, um, but if you use a lot of words like SEO, um, you can get you know it can get go to spam. But we you know we want you to on these prospecting emails. This is not we're not looking to spam guys. I'm not saying we're going to send out a gazillion emails. Um, if you're spending an hour a day with your pro looking through your, and getting your prospects and using either like the gold mine or any of your lead generation um, uh, software, you know, spending an, an hour a day creating these emails uh, and sending them out, you're not spamming, you know, um, you're just sending out prospecting emails. The, it's a, uh, uh, there's a difference because what we're going to be doing is when you write the email, it's going to be very personalized. It's not just like some sort of mail merge where they're taking uh, the, uh, the, the name and the company name and throwing it in there. Obviously, there are people that do that. You get them all, all day long from India and everywhere else. Uh, this is not what we're doing. This is absolutely, if you've done your research on, on different companies or through your VA and you're sending out these emails that are very specific and, and, and the body and everything is very specific for the company. It takes a little bit longer time, but your response rate and uh, they know that you're genuine and you're coming at them uh, uh, you know, with the qualities that we've, we've mentioned you're going to get a lot better response. So a couple other examples, not found in listings, question mark, um, obliterate your competition, and then, uh, I, you know, I use this one, I love you, and I have to tell you, I, we, I, I'm sure you may have seen the email that I sent out, uh, you know, the one that, that said the opening, you know, the, the line was, I love you. I can tell you that that was our most opened uh, email that we've ever sent, okay? Um, Everyone was like, "What's that?" They all want to know what is that. So, don't hesitate to knock that off. Um, it, you know, it, it works. And, and getting someone to just open it and give it that attention, uh, and, and, and like we say here, attention and curiosity, it definitely will do that. So, making sure that your subject line flows well into your headline, the first sentence of your email after the salutate after the salutation, saying, "You know, dear, uh, uh, you know." Whatever it may be, you know, if it's if it's the the person, you have to decide on the salutation. You don't want just something like you know, dear, and then business owner or something like that. You want to make it personal. Now, when we send out these these prospecting emails, is this someone that you've had a uh, contact with? Were you at the car wash and you got their business card? You know, can can you um, uh, you know? It depends on who this person is when you get into the salutation. You know, is it going to be lighthearted? Hi, you know, hi Frank. Following up with your with our conversation, I wanted to send this to you about your your about your your business. Um, or it would it could be you know uh, if it's an attorney, you know maybe it's a referral to you, and you're able to send this prospecting email out to somebody. Maybe a little bit more formal. You need to decide on what kind of email that's going to be. Uh, now the headline is usually. When we're talking about the headline is that first uh, sentence, that first paragraph. You know that, that, that they're going to read first. If you give a compliment, people love to hear about themselves. So if a compliment will always get people interested in what you have to say. Okay. Now also, if you're talking about um, something in the industry, maybe something in their company, uh, an event, um, maybe it's somebody that you know that you know, like a bit here, the common contact or a person of authority who has influence in their industry. Something that gets them uh, interested in what you're, you're, you're doing. Um, you know, that is really key because, you know, if you can get them to read just even the first few sentences of your email, you're, you're, you're doing well, okay? Uh, if you think about how many emails you get every day and how you kind of skim through them, um, it's it's very important that you grab them right away. Um, you know, this is one example. You know, if you're, if you're pitching restaurants, um, you know, you know your restaurant is one of the favorite places I go to every time I'm in Austin, Texas. Um, you know, something that's genuine, something that's kind of interesting to them. Um, you know, obviously, you want it to flow very well into the email uh, in in and kind of set the tone for where you're going to go with. Okay, so <clears throat> you may be able to talk about their, uh, 
uh, their business, give them a little bit of a compliment that I found you and, and you know, I really like your website or maybe whatever, but then you've got to really talk to them about what the, what the problem is, okay? Um, showing concern for their business, uh, you know, state that you want to help them in one sentence and one, par and one paragraph. How do you do that? You know, by going in there and, and saying, you know, uh, I really enjoyed visiting your restaurant. Uh, it's great, but when I went to go visit your website, you know, I saw a lot of problems. Uh, but, and I'd really like to help you fix those problems because I, I genuinely want to see you succeed. And then kind of going into who you are and um, how you can relate to them. Okay? You're also a business owner, correct? I mean, that's the biggest thing. We're both business owners. I, I help, what I do is I help other business owners make money. And I want to help you. I really enjoy, you know, I, I like your business, I like your program, I like your, your, your website, I like your service, whatever it may be. But the thing is, you want to make that connection that you're also a business owner and you help other business owners and everybody makes money. Um, you know, here's an example of, that, that we have here. And I, we don't have to read all the way through these. Um, but it's basically just saying, here's, here's your headline. Your, you know, your restaurant, um, you know, McDonald's is one of the favorite places I go every time I'm in Austin, Texas, wherever it may be. Uh, but I was surprised to have found your website on page 20 of Google using the search term blank. Uh, this could be affecting your ability to reach out to new potential customers. How do you think this has affected your sales? I'd like to help you with your online marketing. Now you could go into you know a little bit deeper with a, a specific fix that maybe you want to go with, but it's like um, the uh, and then the next is a little bit more personal. I used to be a blank blank for this chain of restaurants headquartered in Dallas. Now that I've shifted to consulting and providing online marketing services, I've been doing this for the last five years. I've taken a special interest to reach out to restaurant verticals and niches in different locations. Um, and then, you know, my kids also love to eat out. I mean, it's, it's a genuine email, okay? Now, remember, this is just an example of what you can do, uh, but many of you, uh, many of our sales partners have been involved in, a, uh, in another type of industry, um, and then they've gotten into online marketing, and they can, they're going back to that industry uh, to, uh, to market their services. Okay, you know, for example, you know, Michael in, in Texas was in uh, the insurance business for a long time, and now he's marketing to insurance companies. So he, he uses something like this email where he talks about his history in the, in, in the insurance industry, and he knows what he needs to do to help people. So by putting that in the, in the body of the email, it's very important. This basically, um, you know, showing your expertise and your authority, it... Um, uh, showing the research that you've done, you've put a little bit more time and just in, into this email than somebody who's just sending like, oh, we do SEO, why don't you come in and uh, uh, give us a call? We want to make sure that you've done research. If you go to the, 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 uh, the gold mine, it will give you some research on do they have bad reviews, do they have a mobile friendly website. You, know, you can see um, that you've, you've got some information on them. Okay, and then be able to make a really good suggestion uh, on how they can fix it. Now, you can also help them do that. That's where you're talking about your knowledge and your experience. But even giving them the solution um, there in the email is, is very good. Um, okay, for example, here you go. After a quick check, I could tell that SEO had been done on your website. It may still be ongoing, but I've noticed that your rankings for important search terms about your restaurant have been declining for the past three years. Google's content quality algorithm, Panda, is being updated continuously. And after your ranking has dropped, uh, and continue to do so after the last Panda update in September of 2014. This shows that you're an expert in what you do. It shows that you have done research on their website, okay? Um, and it kind of, it, it just basically says, hey, look, I see that the problem is, and I know why it's a problem, okay? Um, going through the pain points, talking about what's going wrong, identifying you know exact issues that are on their website, for instance, um, relating to their pain points. Okay, it's very important because 
obviously if you're able to be able to say, hey, I have also had the issue, the same issue, and this is how I was able to do it. I wasn't getting the proper uh, exposure in the search engines. I did, you know, I ran an SEO campaign on my own, uh, my own website, and that's now how I've got better rankings. Um, and then, of course, you can always uh, give them a report in the in the email. Um, either attach it or um, give a link so that it shows, uh, you know, that you've done the research and and you know maybe there's all the tools that we have in the in uh, in, in our uh, pro member uh, back end where you can run the reports by attaching those it, you know shows really what's wrong with their website and those you know you can also go to use spyfu uh, moz majestic those are all free tools that are on the web you can use you also the local presence report um, you can perform a little bit of more keyword research and show where they're at um, and then, of course, if you want to look at the Goldmine uh, lead generation software that we have, it uh, it does give you know those issues um, that are that are popping up. So you have some pain points that you can bring up. So here's a continuing of the example here. Reviewing the content on your website, I found that most of the content were written for search engines and not for your potential customers. Uh, promotion and distribution of your content is also very minimal and it's mostly done on spammy sites. These are old SEO techniques that no longer work. I understand that producing high quality content for an SEO campaign, along with its proper distribution, as well as finding the right agency is a top challenge for businesses across industries. It took me time, it took time for me to come up with the right quality uh, content SEO recipe for restaurants, but my team and I have mastered this now. And then, you know, it's basically saying, hey look, this is what we found on your website, this is what's wrong. We understand it, and this is what we're ex. This is just for restaurants, but I can, you can see how if you're you, you know working with plastic surgeons or with plumbers, that, that you can definitely change this type of approach up to show what they're doing. You know, I did some research with a uh, uh, a sales partner. Not even like I guess it was about four weeks ago, and we came across a provider. To uh, that did websites and SEO uh, in the medical industry, and so you know we went through it and we kind of uh, we started looking at all the different websites that they had worked with, and you'd be surprised that uh, you know it, it was it was all, it was really almost incredible when you went through and the, and these um, these professionals in the um, in the medical industry they had used this service. To give them templated uh, type of uh, uh, websites, and the SEO was horrible. I mean, it was just horrible. So being able to come across something like this and send them that email, like you see what's wrong. Here's what it is. Um, you need to get it fixed. And, you know, I'm here to help you. It's better than somebody just saying, "Hey, you need. Do you want to get better rankings?" You can see where we're where we're going with this. I hope. I you know. Uh, by really doing the research and finding out what is um, uh, important to that business owner, what is his real problems, and really taking that out, will get your prospecting emails noticed, guys. I promise you, an hour a day at this, it will make a difference. Okay, so then you can go through and talk about what if they don't do anything, okay? Um, you know, what, 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 what is it? You know, what, what is going to happen? Yes, the world is going to end, you know. Um, this is definitely, remember, you're trying to get these guys to call you. It's okay to exaggerate. It's, a, it's okay to tell them, you know, that, 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 you know, sales will continue to decline, whatever it may be, um, to throw it out there. You remember, you know, you just want them to contact you for the next step, okay? Um, you know, so if, here's an example. If changes aren't made on your website and on your SEO strategy as soon as possible, you may not be able to regain strong visibility in search engines you once had, securing traffic and customers. You just can't let customers that could have been yours keep walking into your competitors' doors. Don't let any day pass um, once more knowing that potential customers only see your competitors when they search online and not do anything about it. Okay? So <clears throat> this is a, a good thing to really, you know, just kind of puts in the knife and kind of turns it a little bit 
because you found out, hey, you've, you've already recognized, here are the issues you've got, here's what we can do for you, but if you don't do something, yes, the world is going to end, okay? I mean, you get the point. So then you can basically summarize um, and be able to bring them back to you. I can help you get back on track with your SEO or your online marketing. Um, I, I wouldn't necessarily use SEO uh, every single time in this. I, I'd rather use online marketing or um, uh, you know search engine visibility, something like that. Anyway, let me help you improve your search engine visibility, website traffic, leads, and customers by running your online marketing campaign. Um, now, here's what's really good. If you've got some testimonials, um, which many of you do, to be able to put in um, some testimonials there, hey, this is what my customers are saying. What's even better, okay, is if you have a short video uh, that you can put into this email, uh, you know, right there, even 15 seconds where you've asked one of your customers just to give you a quick, um, uh, you know, a quick uh, shout out type of thing where you're like, okay, you know, shoot on your iPhone is, is like a selfie type of thing or, or whatever, but if you can do a video testimony of 10 to 15 seconds, hey, I've used ABC mark, online marketing firm, it did wonders for my, my uh, traffic and I've, I've more than paid for it with my new customers. Boom. If you can fit that in uh, into your email, even at the link, but if you can, you know, obviously format it there, where you, they'll play it, the video testimonials work. Okay, so if you do have those, don't hesitate to put them into your prospecting email. Uh, if not, even some emails um, that are pretty, I mean, some um, uh, testimonials that are very specific you could put in there, uh, even if it's with the full name and, and um, uh, the company name that can be you know looked up and even if they can call the, the, the customer. Those are great for prospecting emails. I really suggest that you do that. Okay. The, uh, uh, then obviously you want to bring in the call to action. You know, a free consultation is great, or if you want to charge for it, it's no problem. But you want to give them um, definitely the sense of urgency, the sense of scarcity, and the feel uh, the fear of losing a great opportunity from this email. So, for example, um, I normally charge a thousand dollars for a full-on consultation, but since your your business is a favorite of mine. I'm, I want to offer a brief consultation to you for free. Um, please hurry because my calendar gets booked up fast. And we need to act fast to fix your Google rankings before you get completely crushed by your competitors. Reply now to schedule a consultation with me. Let's talk. Now this is pretty deep. I mean that's that, that's a, uh, uh, a pretty aggressive uh, you know call to action. Uh, you don't you don't necessarily have to be that aggressive, but um, there's no harm in it. Okay, uh, you know, you remember you've got to play with this to fit your personality and everything like that. Um, and remember, these are all templates that you're going to be able to go through and change. But uh, don't hesitate to to really bring in that call to action. You got to have it in there. You can't just leave it like, oh, give me a call. Throw it out there with some sort of offer. Okay, um, it. Uh, you know, if you want to do a web audit, a full-on web audit on their on their their, if they call you now in the next, you know, this week, I'll be glad to have my staff do a full-on uh, web audit so we can sit down and discuss your options uh, to get your uh, business more exposure on the on the web, something like that. But you know, put a time frame on it. Okay. Now the closing. Um, is just you know is it we're kind of going through everything but is it is it regards is it best of I mean best to you uh, best regards thank you you know whatever fits your personality and, and, and fits the situation now on the PS the postscript um, this is the last thing they're going to see it's great if you can put in some sort of offer um, you know you know even a thank you for your time I really enjoyed visiting with you uh, or uh, mentioning a promo um, or even throwing in a, uh, a quick, hey, if you need to book me, here's the, uh, the link uh, or a link to a promo. For example, on here, we, you know, P.S., you know, I really like the blah, blah, blah at your restaurant. Uh, it's perfect. It's, it's very, uh, 
this is a personal email, so you know that's a. It's kind of like you're ending with a compliment. Also, you know, you know, P.S. I'm running a promo on online marketing services where you can get 17% off your first month. So go ahead and schedule an appointment with me here, and then make it very easy for them to click there and um, either call you or have an online booking calendar, uh, such as Schedule Once or a, a, like Calendly that we use. So, you know, this basically is a um, uh, just a real easy, um, you know, kind of a breakdown of what a prospecting email uh, would look like. Um, if you, CJ, if you don't mind taking this link and putting it in the chat box, this is the these are the six downloadable uh, templates that we're, we we want to give you for free. Um, feel free to do what you will with them. I hope that you will. Use them. They basically will go through, and we, we have one for uh, SEO. Uh, we have one for local buzz. We have one for web design. We have one for uh, online reputation repair. Um, so uh, take a look through these, and you know, use them and make them your own. Change them up. Give it a try. I want to hear back from you guys on what your open rates were. Um, Run the run the uh, run your lead generation software. Do your own research. Go to page three of Google and in, in your niche in, in in the city that you're targeting, and do some research. And then try these emails. Spend an hour a day sending out prospecting emails. Have your staff do it. But remember, these aren't spamming. I don't appreciate anybody spamming. I, I don't condone it. I don't want it. But sending out authentic, um, real. Uh, emails to prospective clients uh, will bring you new campaigns. I guarantee it will. Okay. Um, if you're a, a pro member, be sure and be on next week's on next Thursday's webinar. We're going to be going through how you follow up, what those emails look like once you've met with a uh, your once you've set the meeting with your client. What are the emails that go out? Uh, what are the what are the exact emails you want to send every single day until you come back with your uh, your proposal or or whatever it may be uh, once you meet with the, the client? Um, we're going to go through that entire process with sample emails. Um, so be sure and be on that uh, uh, on that webinar if you're a pro member. Um, so we've got a special on pro membership, and uh, CJ is going to throw this up there. Uh, so if you're not a member, we suggest that you do become a pro member uh, for access to the, uh, in, in case of this webinar, access to the, the gold mine, the lead gold mine, and also the new email templates that are coming out next week. I guarantee you it's worth the cost of a monthly uh, pro membership. You, you know, get involved with it. I guarantee you, you will not regret being a pro member. Now, <clears throat> I'm a big fan of the Olympics. Um, I used to be in the... Uh, uh, in the ticketing and the sports hospitality business back in the day, um, you know, back in 1996, my the biggest event that I ever had was uh, we had an office in Atlanta and, a, and we had a huge, huge deal with the Summer uh, Olympics in 1996 in Atlanta. Up in oh, well, up until the bomb went off, and that was kind of not so good for ticket sales. But anyway, in honor of the 17 days of the Summer Games, we're going to give away 17% discount. On some of our products, okay. This the promos will last until September 25th, um, and we'll just go through them real quick. We've got a 17% off of your uh, any quarterly uh, uh, payments uh, toward new campaigns, a minimum of an SEO 12 and up, okay. Uh, we've got a 17% off any local buzz new campaign uh, off of a quarterly program, a 17% off. We've got social media. Any social media product that you do uh, is 17% off as well. We have a PPC promo. We're offering it also 17% off. And then, of course, on ORR. So if you uh, are considering running any campaigns with us and you've got a new client, these are for new campaigns, we are offering a 17% discount honoring the 17 days of the Summer Olympics, um, and the promo deadline is by September 25th. So if you, you know, push that, that'd be great. 
um, we'd love to uh, uh, do that for you. Also, we're web design. We have a deal right now with our web uh, maintenance program. And if you buy it in a quarterly um, uh, or a semi-annual or an annual basis on, on the web, any website that you have, um, we're going to we're going to bonus you another four hours free if you buy the quarterly, and that's you can use that twelve hours and three months plus another four hours of of work. So, um, and of course, if it's the semi-annual, you're going to get uh, uh, six hours free, and then an annual, you'll get eight hours free. Now, what is a website maintenance program? Go to our website. We've got all of the uh, uh, if you log in to the eDasher and you go and you click on the web maintenance, you'll see what we can do for you. But basically, we will, um, uh, you know, update your. We'll do uploads for you. We'll make sure that your uh, your WordPress is updated. If you've got, you need to add pages, whatever it may be. Um, we just we basically have taken it where we're just doing hours of work for you, and you've already prepaid it. Um, this is necessary. Absolutely necessary if you're running a uh, if you've designed a website with us. Um, if you tack this on to the to to the website a web design project that you've done with us, um, when your the client gets the website, they always have these little changes um, that they need to do. This program is great for that. Um, if you're doing a, an SEO or an online marketing uh, campaign with any of your customers, any of the sales partners. You definitely should push a uh, web support and maintenance program um, to take care of all the updates that they might want to do. It, it depends. A lot of people do not have a full-time webmaster or web designer on staff. They've got a website. It, maybe there's some little updates that you're going to be able to suggest to them and changes that they need to make to their website as their online consultant. And instead of doing one by one, if you just say, hey, look, you know what? This is part of the, the, the service. I really suggest that you do this quarterly uh, maintenance program. So if we do have little fixes and little things to do on your website, it's already done, and it, it's you know it's there. It's it's a it's a great value when you've got these guys, our web design team, on call for you. So you won't be nickel and dimed. Um, it's it's just a very good program. We're very proud of it. Um, so don't hesitate to to reach out to our any Rob and Roy. Uh, our, our consultants for web design, they'd be glad to explain to you exactly how you can use this uh, web maintenance program and, and help you be able to sell it. Um, now, if you will, uh, CJ, if you'll throw this, this link in, there's a link for all of these um, uh, promos that we have for you to be able to download uh, and, in a, so you can present them in a professional manner. I think that uh, uh, they should be all ready to go, and I think that that should be. Let me see if it's in the chat box yet. Let's see. Okay, we've got the, um, the pro membership. Let's see here. Okay, so there you go. You've got the promos in there now. Thank you, Cherry, for that in there. So, <clears throat> um, the next VIP webinar is going to be held on August 25th. Um, the next pro member webinar is on August 18th. I really encourage you to be on the next pro member webinar. Uh, I think that you'll really like the, the email templates that we've got and also the system we're going to be going over. Um, this is the same system uh, that we're kind of approaching is the one that uh, you've been on. If you've been on a pro member webinar before, we've had a, one of our sales partners, JD, who walked through his process on how he started with a prospecting email uh, or a conversation, and, and he walked through his sales process, okay? And in, in, on that webinar, which if you're the, a pro member, you go and watch this one. It's a really good one. Um, and and you, it was, it's part of the gold mine training sessions that we did, just to help you out when you go back there. I don't have the link. Uh, in front of me right now. But if you go to that and you listen to that webinar, you, you, a lot of people were asking, could we get those type of emails? We've built them for you. Okay. So when you go in and, and you've, you've sent a prospecting email out or maybe you've run into somebody and you've, you've talked to them, um, 
these are this is the entire process and the emails um, that we put together for you are from after your first consultation uh, or setting even the meeting with the consultation um, after the consultation that you've either met with them in person or you've met with them over the web with a web consultation what are the emails and the follow-up while you're doing your research um, in putting a proposal together it we want to show you how you can use those series of emails bang 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 for four or five days to really already have the sale closed by the time that you contact them to go over the proposal we want to use those emails to uh, reinforce your authority reinforce the fact that you are an expert uh, show that you're trustworthy and show great testimonials uh, we want to knock down objections so that you know all in a series of emails that go out between the time that you've met with them or to talk to them about your products and services to the time where you pick up the check or, or take their credit card so be on the pro member webinar August 18th it'll be a good one it'll probably be around an hour and a half to two hours we have a lot of stuff to cover but the the uh, the templates that we'll be handing out um, uh, will be on next week's webinar so the next VIP webinar, like I said, will be on August 25th. Don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can connect with us at connect at virtualgroup.co. Give us a call. Um, we have uh, our sales, uh, our, our uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> our staff is here to help you is what I'm trying to say. So if you email us or call us, we're here all the time, uh, pretty much holidays included. So hit us up. Let us know what we can do for you. Let us know what we can do better. Just uh, send us an email or give us a call. I appreciate you being on this week's webinar, um, and we look forward to seeing you on the next Pro Member webinar. Okay, thank you very much. From Manila, we're signing off.